At this hour, the death toll from Hurricane Helene is topping 115. Several southeastern states are still reeling and struggling to recover. In Greene County, Tennessee, neighbors joined forces to rebuild a bridge that fell victim to the storm's fury. And as CBS News correspondent Nicole Valdez tells us, some storm victims fear the cleanup will take years. Nothing could prepare residents across the southeast for the devastation caused by Helene. Oh, oh God. Like this bridge collapse in Greene County, Tennessee, or how 90% of the homes in Keaton Beach, Florida are destroyed. And it survived its blown glass. I don't know how in the world it made it. Even with some roads still covered in sand or blocked by downed trees, crews are working around the clock to restore power in hopes of giving people some sense of normalcy. Just actually be able to sit and watch TV. It's the stuff you take for granted, it's hard. Volunteers swarmed this parking lot in Newport, Tennessee to give out clothes, water, and food. It's the best feeling in the world to know that you can help. South Carolina was hit with the most power outages from Helene, and it may not be until Friday that some residents get their power back. You know, I've seen a lot of floods. For those born and raised in southern Appalachia, like Lonnie Eastridge, the devastation is hard to swallow. I hear my granny uh, growing up talking about the, excuse me, the 1940 flood. Now, this is probably worse than the 40 flood, but I guess this is my generation's 40 flood because this was, this will take years to clean up if it's ever. At the White House, President Biden promised to help those who have lost everything. I'm here to tell every single survivor in these impacted areas that we will be there with you as long as it takes. An arcade is one of the few spots with power in Ash County, North Carolina. They've kept their doors open, offering a much needed distraction from the outside. Nicole Valdez, CBS News, Anderson, South Carolina. President Joe Biden says he plans to visit some affected areas as soon as his trip won't disrupt rescue and recovery efforts. Red Cross volunteers from Illinois are on the ground down south offering to help communities devastated by Helene. That includes Amanda Venverlo, who is volunteering in Tallahassee, Florida. She says many of the people she sees have been hit by several storms over the past 14 months. We see people who, who have been hit with one storm after another. Mm. So we definitely recognize that these are people who, you know, yes, they experience hurricanes, um, you know, freak, more frequently than I do, obviously, coming from Illinois. But it, it's the need that, that people, people just need compassion and they need services. So that's why we're here. We're here to help. Amanda and the Red Cross are encouraging people to go online to donate what they can. They say what they are really desperate in need of is blood donations.